Basically, Dax Shepard has come out and just explained how he went from a man that didn't have any muscles to a man that had a bunch of muscles. And while I'm sure he's been working hard in the gym, and while I'm sure he's been eating his chicken and rice, he, on his podcast, just said, yeah... Time to the board a hole here, and what a tremendous day it is. It's so tremendous, I'll ask you to hit that subscribe button, because who doesn't like seeing numbers go up in the air and increasing? But for the first time, maybe ever, I'm sure there are other examples that I have missed. I can't see every single one of them. We have a notable celebrity. I know he's not like AAA or Super A, but I've heard of him, and I don't think he's done much over here in the UK. Basically, Dax Shepard has come out and just explained how he went from a man that didn't have any muscles to a man that had a bunch of muscles. And while I'm sure he's been working hard in the gym, and while I'm sure he's been eating his chicken and rice, while I'm sure he's been sipping his BCAAs and all these other things that we throw into the ether, he, on his podcast, I can't remember it's called now, Armchair Talk or something like that, as he was talking to Myla Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, just said, yeah, I've also been injecting giant amounts of testosterone into my ass. And it was like, oh, my gosh. What a wonderful thing to hear, finally breaking the walls down. Now, I'm just going to play you the clip so you can hear it from yourself, and we'll go from there. Can I just tell you in a nutshell what happened? In quarantine, I said to Kristen, I've been waiting for 10 years for Marvel to call so that I'd have an excuse to get huge. And they're not gonna call. Like that ship sailed, I'm 46, they're not gonna call. So I just have to do it for my own amusement. And I gained uh, about 24 pounds. Dad. Just six days a week, lifting heavy, protein shakes going bananas, heavy testosterone injections. Really? I told you, you gotta be careful know, about these testosterone injections, I'm telling I know. you. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. You don't let someone wash their face or their bodies, Thank but you, you think injecting yourself with hormones is okay, Dax. I do. I think taking yourself to your 28 year old level of testosterone is just fine. But that's neither here nor there. All I want to say is, you know, I'm 185 Monica, on the on the, on the the button, baby. I've always 185 and now I'm 210. I spent my whole life as a medium boy and now I'm a big boy and I like it. You are a big boy. More than I like what it does to me physically. Well, first let me just add that my father too was low in testosterone. So I come by this honestly. But the point is, forget the body, mentally. I love it because it makes me far more on fire to be alive. I was depressed after chips. I was literally retiring. That was the plan. I'm out. Started going on testosterone. Two months later, we started this podcast. I had said yes to your show. I had said yes to two other shows. All of a sudden, I was on fire to work. And I'm like, I like this version. So boom. There you go. Now, it begs the question, too, why would Dax Shepard be doing it, but apparently nobody else in the Hollywood universe? Which, of course, we know is probably not the case, and they don't want to admit it. But I do understand why that does happen. I want to make that very clear. Let's take The Rock. Dwayne Johnson, who I'm sure everyone's seen his most recent pictures as he wraps up filming Black Adam, has got himself, at the age of 49 uh, years of age, into the most ridiculous shape I have ever seen. As I've always said time and time again, if I look like by the time I get to 50, I'll be twice as happy as I am now in terms of a physique point of view because it's absolutely nuts. Is there a chance he did this without the use of PADs, performance enhancing drugs, or whatever we want to call them? Yes, there is always a small chance. But is it more likely he would use something like that because A, he's got the money, B, he's going to have medical staff around him constantly monitoring his blood work and making sure he's not doing anything that's going to send him over the edge, and three, it's what his entire career is based on. I'm sure you've heard other YouTube fitness guys or girls talk about this if you knew that millions of dollars and incredible amounts of pressure was put onto your shoulders to look a certain way and you knew you could take a drug and again like i say monitor your blood works so you're going to be okay why the hell wouldn't you take it i'd do it I wouldn't be ashamed to take it. I mean, the only worry about doing it when you're not being monitored by doctors is you don't actually know what you're doing to your innards. But if I knew I had the best team around me and I had all the money in the world, you damn right I'm going to inject crap into me so I look like a damn superhero. Everybody is dreaming about looking like a superhero. But I understand that if he does admit that, there is a, what's the word? I guess a judgment that people will make. Going, oh, I knew you were lying. I can't believe it, blah, blah, blah. Whereas it's no different from anything else. It really, really isn't. There's medicines for all types of, I wouldn't call it a disease necessarily, but there's medicine for all types of things that people are using to enhance their performance so why wouldn't you enhance your performance if you're an actor and it's all about how you look and it's all about the character that you can portray so i understand the difference between the rock and who else would do it? i don't know chris hemsworth and dak shepherd right dak shepherd has never been known for his physique no one's really going to care hence why this story's kind of been circulating for the last couple of days and i haven't seen anybody talking about it because it's dak shepherd but he's still well let's go through his resume because he's been in knocked up he was in zathora a space adventure i watched that movie i don't even 
know why, but I did. He's in something called Hit and Run. He's in Veronica Mars. He's in Chips. He's in Buddy Games. He was in Paw Patrol. Everyone loves Paw Patrol if you're below the age of five. I think he was more of a TV guy. Of course, his big thing was punked. I remember him in punked. He was in Robot Chicken. I enjoyed Robot Chicken. My name is Earl. I enjoyed that too, King of the Hill. These are things that you can Parks and Recreation. He had a cameo in one point at a time. The Good Place, really good. You check the Good Place out if you haven't seen it. There is a bunch of stuff where you can go, okay, I recognize him. But it's really his podcast where, I mean, he's not Joe Rogan levels, but he absolutely does have a massive following when it comes to his podcast. And hopefully I left that clip in, but it all depends on copyright, etc., and everything like that. He even says he was all ready to retire. He was done. He had no will and no motivation to carry on when it came to his career. But then when he found out that his father had low testosterone, so he thought, I better go check out my testosterone levels and found out his testosterone levels were low. And he went on TRT and he boosted his levels back up to what was a 28 year old male to use his example. All of a sudden he had that luster for life again. And of course, a great side effect of this is that at the same time, he wanted to transform his physique because as he joked, he wanted the Marvel people to come around, but it's probably not going to happen. And in his late or his mid to late forties, he was able to get some size on his body. And I think he said he put on like 23 pounds of muscle, which is two stone, just shy of two stone. I do believe I always get my mass with that wrong, but that's absolutely tremendous. So I'm going to assume once again, he's being monitored to making sure he's doing it okay. I'm sure he's doing just a healthy dose to get him back to where he needs to be. And because he's also changed his lifestyle, he is now, as he said, living one of the best periods of his entire life. How can anyone get mad at that? Like, how could you get mad at that? How can all you cheat and you lie, blah, blah? No, not at all. Not when you're honest and upfront about it like that, which is why if all of a sudden The Rock did come out and say, oh, by the way, I'm injecting whatever into my ass cheeks, you'd be like, okay, great. I mean, there wouldn't. There'd be a huge scandal. And again, I understand why he doesn't do it, but it would be awesome if he did. And then we could have a conversation about it. And then also we could make a ton of videos about the exact drugs that he's taking. <laughs> People would love that. There would be videos for days. He also talked about the fact that he's now training six days a week. He's got into heavy lifting and he's drinking protein shakes. So you still have to still have to mention the protein shakes. And it is kind of funny because Milo Kunis, uh, Ashton Kutcher's wife, and obviously massive celebrity of her own, was all like, you know, he, he must have some phobias about something else because she says something now I can't remember. And follows up with, but you're okay injecting giant hormones into you. And he's like, absolutely, yeah. It's made me feel great. It's made me feel great. And I was like, that's right, you tell her, you, you fight back. But outside of all of this and the way he looks, I think he also went through uh, maybe some kind of drug or alcohol habit because he now talks about how he is sober. And that is the coolest thing about this because he talks about not only has introducing a fitness regime into his life meant that he is psychologically happier than he's ever been, but it's just put a smile on his face. I'm reading his quotes down here that I wrote down and he just said, I'm super happy with the way I look, but more importantly, I'm super happy with the way that I feel. And that's why you should be keeping an eye on your blood work. I understand once again, yes, it's going to help you in the gym. But if you're not happy and you're not healthy and you're not having a good time, then you're probably not going to want to lift weights anyway. And it is going to happen to all of us. Like if you are a man and you get to, I think around about 35 onwards is when you see the greatest decreases in testosterone. It may be worth just keeping an eye on your levels in case you do drop because again, everyone's going to be different. And there are some sort of 30, 40 year olds walking around out there that have the same testosterone level of a 90 year old man. And you don't want that. And if the medicine is there so that you can feel like you are in your peak condition, but you're not pushing it and you're not taking crazy, you know, uh, superficial, not superficial doses, whatever, when you push it like mad, I can't remember the word. But as long as you're not doing that and jeopardizing and risking your life, which is the complete opposite of what we're trying to achieve, I think it would be great if this became a more common thing. And it is becoming a more common thing, really, especially in America. Like over here in the UK, it's a bit of a slow starter, but that's always the way. But in America right now, you can essentially just walk into a clinic and go, hey man, you know, jab this in my face and and they'll do it but when i read it and well, i saw the headline that you know dak shepherd puts on 23 pounds so i clicked it and i was like oh man it's gonna be some kind of gibberish and then right there where i want the actual quote where he just says well he just says testosterone injection played a huge role in this i was like that is the most refreshing thing that has ever happened on this very hot friday day someone that has a notable name and is absolutely in the celebrity field just going yeah man that's what happened, and maybe other people are doing it too. So that's it. There's not much else to say about it. It was just, you know, we spent so much time going, what's this guy doing and what's that guy doing? I thought it was only fair to wave the flag and give a hug to somebody who is actually speaking the truth and not being ashamed of it and defending himself when other people, his friends, are going, hey, man, why are you doing this? Because I don't know whether he's done the research or not, but I'm sure he's gone to a doctor who's explained how it's going to work. So it's a round of applause. It's a round of applause to Dak Shepard for actually making my day. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding, so you know when other videos are going live. There is another video on the screen right now. Please do give that a click too. Patreon.com, for Simon316. If you want to support me that way, SimonMiller.BigCartel.com merchandise. Uh, Greg Doucette's brand new Power 13 cookbook. I'm in it. Use the code Simon15. All the information in the link below. 
below. At Simon Miller 316 on Instagram and Twitter. But more importantly than that, make sure you have a smile on your face today. Find your own Dak Shepard testosterone injection routine. I don't know what that means. I'll see you on the next one.